Hey y'all, this is Toya here. I'm coming to you today with a video, hopefully it's quick, about my hair color. I colored my hair on my star locks. I just wanted to kind of go over some things I learned in the process and what I wish I thought about beforehand. So before I even get into that, let me just start off. I am seven months locked, but in about two days I'll be seven months locked. And I started my star locks off with the interlocking method. The very first day I did my starter locks, I did interlocking. After that, every retighten, every retwist thereafter, I went ahead and just twisted it. So I don't know if I'm a true interlocked uh, starter lock person here, but that's what I did. Um, my hair was extremely damaged. I know I've mentioned in other videos, extremely damaged when I started. So the front of my hair, I still have perm at the end or heat damage from straightening and the front was damaged. The middle was damaged to the point where it started falling out. So it's very short and the back was probably the healthiest my hair has ever been. And uh, my texture is different across the board. In the front, it's mostly, well, the perm makes it different, of course, but like the front part in the middle is 4C. Like the middle is the roughest. It's 4C. The front, I'm really not sure. The back is definitely 4B. Um, but my hair texture is different throughout my head. So I decided to color my hair, hoping to do something different. And I'm not going to lie, I've been on the fence about it for a while. I don't know if you can really see the true color in this video because the lighting. But I will try to insert some pictures of a, in the natural light outside. Um... But y'all, I was almost a little freaked out. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't gonna hold you on that. But <clears throat> I wanted to talk to you about my hair in general. So it's always been dry. And for the longest time, I believed that I needed to moisten my hair with hair lotions, hair greases, and things like that. I've been doing more research and I found that the most important thing is water and a mix of oil for locks. So I've been doing that as of late before I colored my hair and it helped. My hair hasn't been as dry. It's definitely working like it's moisturized. It feels great. And I also use um, organic castor oil to help thicken my hair. So with that being said, since my hair is used to being very dry, <laughs> I colored my hair by myself with two boxed, um, you know what? I don't have it with me. I'll put it in the description two box hair colors i think it's clairol one was honey blonde and the other one was bronze i was just trying something seeing what i was going to do with it and what i didn't realize is that your hair reacts to this color differently than what you're used to when you've colored it before just on regular natural hair and usually on my natural hair my past experience i color it i go about my day i'm fine my hair is the same I colored my hair this time and it was extremely dry, like a Brillo pad. Like I thought it was going to rip off at the root. I was very nervous. I was actually very scared because I thought I just lost all my hair. And then on top of that, I feel like the color maybe stripped the texture away because my hair used to be so soft and fluffy, especially after I started moisturizing it correctly with the water and oil. After it felt very, very rough. I'm talking about like, I didn't even recognize that I was touching my own hair. It just did not feel right. Since then, I will color my hair maybe, it's been about a week now. I have been spraying it down with oil and water a lot. Like I went from doing it once or twice or maybe three times a week to I spray my hair twice a day now because I need you to understand that this color did something and I need to keep it as moist as possible. And I'm nervous, <laughs> actually, I'm still a little nervous. Um, I'm gonna spray it after this, actually. I've I've kept it in this little style for now. And it's the most I can do because my hair is all over the place. It's short and it's, it's okay in the front, but it's super short in the middle. And it's very difficult to style it and the back is longer. So I've been doing this. I'm gonna give you a quick twist around so you can see where I'm at. But I just wanna let you know, please do some research, maybe even test a lock before you color it because I was scared. Like I thought I was gonna lose my hair and I'm still 
a little mm, it's a little dicey right now but um i'll see i'm gonna continue to spray it down and go with the flow i think it looks okay um you know i'm not 100 percent sold on the color yet but lord whoo i be playing around like oh if i lose my hair it's my journey it's whatever but i really would be heartbroken if i lost my hair so <laughs> um let's see if i can give you And yes, then, you know, um, I have pin it and stuff like that, but I'm going to now, I've ha I'm going to spray it again in a minute, get this stuff moisturized and go from there. But that's my update. I'm seven months locked. I will give you another update in about eight months when I retwist, unless anything changes in between time. And I'm just going to stay on schedule. I don't get a lot of the budding like most people do. I haven't really experienced any of that yet. I'm not really sure. My hair is just taking off slow or what. Maybe that's some budding. I don't know. But we'll see. But um, thank y'all for watching and thank you and have a blessed day.